EKU football closed out the 2020 campaign yesterday at Roy Kidd Stadium as the Colonels hosted the Catamounts of Western Carolina in the inaugural Raising Canes Opportunity Bowl. And after the Bardall brothers met at midfield, it was time to play some football. Eastern's first possession, their backs against the wall. Redshirt freshman Isaiah Velez got the nod for the first time in his career, and he was making the most of his opportunity as he quickly gave his team some breathing room, hitting tight end Malik Owens on back-to-back plays to put EKU on their 35-yard line. Then Alonzo Booth goes right down Broadway and into Catamount territory for a 19-yard gain. Eastern Kentucky at the 31, staring at a third and seven, and Velez slings it out to Jackson Bierman to keep the sticks moving. Next play, and Velez finds Bierman again, and he got brought down inside the five. Booth caps the 10-play, 95-yard drive as he just runs over a dude to get into the end zone, and the home team strikes first. Second quarter, Colonel's up four, and that's about to change as Velez gets blindsided and loses the football. Ricky Paleo scoops it up, and the big man is going to rumble 54 yards for the score to put some wind in Western Carolina sails as they take a three-point lead. Ensuing kickoff, and Davion Ross is about to take the wind out of the Catamount sails as he finds the seam. He only has the kicker to beat, and he flies right by him as Ross takes it to the house to reclaim the lead. The truly amazing thing about this play is he went 94 yards untouched. Next EKU possession, Colonel's at their own 15, Velez hits a crossing Jacquez Jones, and he makes one guy miss before being forced out of bounds, picking up a dozen and a fresh set of downs. Third and six from the 31, and Velez lobs one to Alonzo Booth on the wheel route, and the Ohio native cuts it back heading upfield and just outruns everyone as he gets into the end zone for the second time on the 69-yard catch-and-run TD. That would make it 21-10, and Eastern would take that 11-point lead into halftime. After a rather uneventful third frame, the final stanza was filled with fireworks, and the first one was set off by Jackson Bierman as he launches a rocket to Jaquez Jones. Now Kent thinks he's got the angle on him, but they don't call him Endzone Jones for nothing as he cuts it back and hits Paydirt for the fourth time this season. Western Carolina hoping to make a late run, but Dawson Fitzpatrick blows up that idea as he comes up with the interception. That was the junior's second pick of the year, allowing the offense to continue the light show. Velez rolling out, looking downfield, uncorks one to Keon Dixon for a 24-yard gain, putting the Colonels just outside the five-yard line. Next play, and Booth will not be denied as he just lowers his shoulder and rings that guy's bell for his third touchdown of the night, extending the EKU lead to 25. Following a quick three and out by the Catamounts, the pyrotechnics continued as Velez sends one up. First he's throwing bombs, now he's catching bombs. Beerman, sipping on the go-go juice, takes it in as the Colonel's offense has scored 21 points in the span of three minutes. Now, no good fireworks show is complete without a booming finale, and who better to provide that than Booth as he once again bounces off a would-be tackler and scampers 28 yards for his fourth touchdown of the game as Eastern Kentucky goes on to win the Raising Canes Opportunity Bowl in convincing fashion, 49-17. Alonzo Booth had a game that every player dreams about. He finished the day with 247 total yards to go along with those four TDs. Isaiah Velez had a fantastic debut. The Florida native went 18 of 32 for 310 yards, tossing a pair of scores. Jackson Bierman and Jacquez Jones both reached the century mark in receiving yards and hauled in a touchdown. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.